hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video today i'm going to show you how to design a church flyer using adobe photoshop before any further i do let's get started i'm going to use 1080 by 1080 So now I'm going to copy my color code, Ctrl plus C to copy, then go to your solid color. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Here is my resource file. Then scale it out. Then go to your filter blur, Gaussian blur. Then I'm going to use 4.8 here. Then I'll click OK. Then apply layer mask. Select your gradient tool. Then I'll blend the top here. All right. Then import your resource file again. Increase the size. Then apply your layer mask, select your gradient tool, then I will blow over here. Then change the blending mode to linear light. Something like this. Alright, then I'm going to import the other image again. Apply your layer mask. Select your gradient tool, then now I'm going to blend around here, something like this. Then go to your blur, then select Gaussian blur, then here I'm going to use 4.0, reduce the size, then position it over here. Then go to your, your blending mode, then I'm going to use lightning. So having done this one now, so the next one I'm going to do, I'm going to select this image, then I will reduce the opacity, then to 43, like this, it's okay. Then bring your brush, Increase the size, then I'll position it over here, then increase the size, scale it out this way, then OK. Draw a rectangle around the end, then come to this place, unlock the link, apply a shape, something like this. So right, then import your logo and I'm going to position this logo over here, then zoom in to, to see it very well, something like this. Then. Great another rent angle like this. Then use this color. Go to your filter, select blur, then Gaussian blur, convert it to smart objects. Then I'm going to increase the size. 9.8 is okay. Position it around the end. Then I'm going to copy my test, select your test tool, Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to use this Frontier Devant Hojin, then increase the size this way, then bring it over here, hold your shift key, then I will reduce it like this 
then you can reduce the fonts i mean the text something like this then i'm going to duplicate the right angle ctrl plus j to duplicate it then bring it down over here then i'm going to reduce the size this way then centralize it Then I'm going to duplicate the test here, Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Then I'll bring it down over here. Select your test tool, highlight it, then come over here to copy your test. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then position it around here. Then on that test there, I'm going to increase the character spacing by 20. Then also this one, increase the character spacing. Alright, so we are done with that. So what we are going to do now is to bring our topic select your test tool then ctrl plus v to paste so i'm using the same font here then i'm going to increase the size like this then the character spacing then Import minus 20, something like this. Then I'm going to select this test, then take it up a little. Okay, then go to your drop shadow. Then I'm going to apply this effect on the test there. Then I'm using multiply. Then the opacity. Then I'm going to increase it to 100%. Then the angle is 180. The distance then is 4. The spread is going to be 7 and the size then 10. Remove this contour from here. Then click OK. Then go back to your test and I'm going to copy this one here. Select your test tool. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Now I'm going to change the font, then make use of this font here. So I'm going to leave, leave the link in the description. Now increase the size, then you drag it over here. Then now, so on this one we are going to apply a test effect on it. So go to your blending option and click on gradient overlay. This is the color I'm going to use. This is the gradient color I'm going to use. So here now I'm going to take this one to zero. I'm using normal then and the opacity is 100% and the scale is 120. So you should take note of that. Now, the code is here, you can make use of that. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to the drop shadow. Then our color is black and I'm using multiply. Then opacity is 100% and the angle is 180. Then the distance, I'm going to change the distance to 3. 
then the spread i'm going to change it to four and the size i'm going to use six then the contour i'm going to change the contour then to this one here then click ok so this is it now i'm going to duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate it then bring it down then select your test tool highlight it and i'm going to type the letter x now go to your blending option double click on it to open the layer style then and change the angle to 90 then you can see the change over there then i'm going to click ok i'm using the same drop shadow then position it over here i'm going to increase the size something like this then i'm going to leave it like this I'm going to leave it this way all right so then i'm going to duplicate this test again ctrl plus j to duplicate it now bring it down then i'm going to change the font to a vertical then select the test and i'm going to import 0 0.3 then reduce the size now we position it around the end there is okay all right so the next thing now then i'll bring this image then flip it then bring it to this location and reduce the size like this then with this now i'm going to select our test then i'm going to group it increase the size all right then go to my test now i'm going to copy this test here select your test tool then ctrl plus v to paste then change the font to a vertical reduce the size like this then ctrl plus j to duplicate it come over here to copy your test then ctrl plus v to paste now i'm going to copy the color code here change the color copy the name duplicate this one then change the font color to white Then I'm going to select the name and reduce the font size. It's okay like this. Now I'm going to bring our dates icon. Control plus U. Drag this one over here. Select your test tool. Then I'm going to change the font to Debat Hojin. Ctrl plus C to copy. Ctrl plus V to paste. Change the font color to white. Increase the test size. Select your test then apply superscripts 
then on the test here i'm going to use zero then i will also copy this one and i'm going to duplicate this one ctrl plus j ctrl plus v to paste then i'm going to copy this color code or then you copy the color from here then reduce the font size then i'll take it up around the ear ctrl plus j to duplicate select and highlight it then copy the year then change the font color to white something like this now i'm going to select this two here then reduce the size then i'm going to bring this icon for the time ctrl plus u for hue and saturation then you drag this one like this okay then i'm going to duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate then drag it up go to your test and i'm going to copy this one then bring it over here select your test tool highlight it ctrl plus v to paste now i'm going to select the date all together and i'll bring it forward all right this way is okay then i'm going to select the dates i will group it the time i will group it then come to this pastor and i'm going to create a new layer then select this one and i'm going to pick the color from here or anyone then i'm going to click ok select your brush reduce the size of your brush then i'm going to apply a brush like this something like this then and i'm going to change it to screen then reduce the opacity 79 will be okay for me so you can see the light effect over there then you can increase increase it scale it out this way is okay so you can see the effects around here so i'm going to leave it like that then i'm going to copy the location then i'm going to bring this icon reduce the size position it here then select your test tool then ctrl plus v to paste then change the font color to black and i'm going to use this font here open the space then make it the character space make it 20 then hold your shift key while you reduce it like this then position it around the end and reduce the size this way now the last thing i'm going to do now then i will come over here that is the topic then i'm going to bring this image here then i'll position it around here like this then click ok now go to your blending mode and i'm going to change it to screen then go to your filter then blur gaussian blur 
then I'm going to make use of 9.0 then click OK so after that then I'm going to blend it around apply your layer mask select your gradient tool then I'm going to this place and I'm going to change my blending to black and white now I'm going to blend around here the top here and this side something like this then the last one now then I'm going to bring this lights here then change it to screen then I'll position it at the top here reduce the size then I'll position it around here hold your shift key then you click on this one then I'm going to group it so this is the pastor and I'm going to drag the lights over here then open the folder and I'm going to place it inside the folder on this one then I'm going to drag it back to our background now group this one this is the ba our background So, alright, that is the end of this tutorial. Thank you so much for following. And if you like this video, please remember to share, then like it and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my video. I really appreciate your staying. Thank you so much.